Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. You're watching In Deep on the Delta. This is the weekly report for November 24th. It's Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna to try to upload this video a day early. So those of you who have friends or family coming in, you're thinking about maybe fishing um, uh, the weekend, you'll have the report early to, to kind of plan your weekend. And I wish it was a better report, but man, it's been a tough, uh, tough week. So um, we'll get into that in just a minute. Let's talk, let's talk about some Thanksgiving Day sales. And I've, uh, I want to talk about Outdoor Sportsman Hook, Line, and Sinker and the fishing or the bass hole out in Bethel Island. They all will be open Friday and Saturday and they all have Black Friday sales. Hook, Line, and Sinker, if you are a fan of Sims products, they're going to have a huge sale on Sims gear. They're also going to have everything else discounted in the store. Um, Outdoor Sportsman in Stockton, they will be having a Black Friday sale. They haven't listed their sale prices, but I'm sure they're going to be pretty good. So the word from them, keep an eye on social media. You'll see uh, the uh, discounts that Outdoor Sportsman is going to have here in Stockton for their Black Friday sale. Rob out at the uh, Bass Hall on Bethel Island will also be open Friday and Saturday. And you guys that, that have been out there, you know he has some... Um, uh, some stuff that is custom stuff that you may not be finding in, in some of the other shops around. So check out your local tackle shops. Make If you're going to do any shopping, if you're going to stay home off the river, Friday and Saturday, all three of those shops will be open. So go check them out and see what they have on sale. Um, they're all local guys. They're all good people. Okay, with that, uh, let's get right into the report. And I am going to be frank with you. It has been a tough report. There is a silver lining at the end of this report. Uh, and and it shouldn't keep you guys from getting out this week. And I'll, I'll just start off with my silver lining. What I've seen over the last couple of weeks, or last maybe three or four weeks, there has been a rhythm to the feeding out there. And it seems like the fish will really feed well for two, three, four days, and then they'll be really tight lipped for two or three or four days. Now the last two or three, four days, They've been really tough. So if you guys are thinking about going out on this weekend, let's hope that that trend continues and the fish this weekend will be biting. Now, with that, think about uh, last week, my report was not a very good report. As soon as I got done with that report, literally that evening, I started getting reports on my, my um, social media that people were starting to catch fish again. I noticed that Ken Ma had a 26 pound bag, I think, to win a tournament on Saturday. Again, don't think you're going to do what Ken does. He's on fire. He's fishing on a different level, but it's possible to get those big bags. Okay, let's get into river conditions. Uh, Tuesday, it was about 56 at 9 in the morning. Water temperature 56. It only went up one degree. It was colder than heck. I have been getting reports that the water temperature is creeping up to 60 in some areas, but just think about 55 to 60 degree temperatures by the weekend. I will say that no matter where you are, if it's sunny, uh, there has been more than average fog on the Delta and you're liable to run into some fog. Uh, you're liable to run into some pretty cool conditions, especially in the morning. So in the, if you go out there, make sure you bring your coat. Uh, also make sure you slow down. There's a lot of debris in the water. Uh, I've been seeing a few logs and, and you know, um, you just got to slow down and be safe out there. But with that, about 10 o'clock, uh, the sun comes up and it's really nice. If you go this weekend, I would highly recommend going out and searching multi-species. If you're a hardcore largemouth guy, start off with largemouth. If it's slow, switch over to stripers or vice versa. But you know, go prepared to fish for both species of fish. It will give you just a double opportunity um, to maybe have some action out there. Uh, I'll combine everybody's report and I'll start with Jeff Suhu because Jeff is out there and that's from Suhu Sport Fishing. He's out there almost every day. He has a good finger on what's going on and he's really, really, really had to work. And he said, he, you know, the fish are out there. Um, it's just that he's, he's picking up a fish here, a fish there. He's getting limits uh, on most days for his clients, but he's really had to work much harder than um, he has in the past to get fish. So the stripers just are not on a real great bite. Jeff also says that a lot of the areas that he's fishing are really congested with highs and it's breaking up and moving down the river. So in some areas it's keeping him from getting into actually checking places. So striper action has been tough. Uh, keep that in mind. I also want to hit up Brandon 
again, I hit him up last week and I still get reports. He has been super consistent on the stripers and um, I know he's been fishing small and he's been fishing fast. He likes that 2.8, 3.8 Kitech. He's been moving around and he's been super consistent. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm trying to get a hold of Brown. If I, if I get this guy, I'm gonna to try to do a video with him and get him to share some of his, his information. And I think it'd make a good video on how, you know, a non-professional guy, a guy that's just putting in his time can expect to have super results. So Brandon, thanks again for all the reports and uh, we will uh, we'll be getting in contact with you. Uh, so that's the striper side of it. Uh, largemouth bass, again, very tough, very few good reports coming in. Last week, last weekend, starting uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fishing was pretty good, but it's taken a turn for the worst in the last three or four days. As I said in the beginning of the program, I think that hopefully that might perk up for the weekend. Um, I was out, or I had the opportunity to go out this week with uh, the legend himself, Mr. D. Thomas. And for, if you if you don't know who D is, D is the man that invented flipping. That he's the grandfather of flipping. Had the opportunity to go out with him. First time I've ever fished with him. What a great day we had! And I mean, you just get to sit out there with a legend and listen to 50 years of bass fishing history. Uh, we went out with D. Man, it was colder than heck out there. I can't. D's up in his 80s now, tough guy. He's out there running that boat around. It's, I don't know, 50 degrees. I forgot my coat. I was shaking like a leaf by the time we got out there. D's running around. For you guys that know D or fish with him, I just want to say, still out there, still working it, still has a passion to fish. And man, if you ever get the chance to talk to D or, or, or go out with him, man, it's, it's a, um, a day you'll never forget. Anyhow, the fishing was tough. D caught a couple of fish. He wanted to, he wanted to uh, throw the throw a, a lot of um, a finesse. So we tried drop shot worms. Uh, that's how D caught his fish. Uh, Eli and I, we were out three guys on the boat. We tried some different things. Really didn't get bit on them. I was throwing white spinner baits. I was throwing um, uh, what else did I throw? Chatter bait really nothing at all on those. Uh, Eli had uh, threw some uh, jerk baits and he was throwing worms. Really tough bite. Uh, we did catch some small stripers, but man, we graph fish all over the place and they just weren't biting. At one, one point, D put on a little Hopkins spoon, I think it was, and he picked up some small stripers, but really tough day. Uh, D suggested if you're going out, stay near the channel. Don't go too far up into the sloughs and fish slow. If you want bigger fish, he suggested punching, but that's from a guy that has over 50 years of experience on the Delta, and um, next time I go out, I'm gonna take that uh, advice. I also wanna um, talk about what Rob from the fishing hole uh, told me, and you know he's in contact with a lot of um, upper end fishermen, and everyone in, in, you know, the guys that know what's going on, they're all saying that when water temperature on the delta gets down to about 52 53 degrees and as long as it doesn't rain conditions are steady and you have clear water there's going to be another bite and this is the time to catch some big big fish so keep that in mind as long as we have clear conditions even though the water temperature is inching down there to the 50s we still have the opportunity of possibly getting some very good fishing and for you guys that are going out the, on this weekend, just make sure you bring your coats, slow down, um, be careful out there. You should enjoy some actually pretty nice weather once it gets from about 10 o'clock to two o'clock. Um, <clears throat> uh, I said bring your jacket, uh, 10 o'clock, two o'clock, nice conditions, very low pressure, and uh, go out and have a good time. Make sure you send me a report, good or bad, because next week uh, I'll be out there fishing and I'm gonna try to do um, try to do something that, that I can get going so I can relay it to you. I'll also say that uh, after D and I and Eli were out fishing, I got a call from D that evening and he got a report from one of his friends that was fishing basically the same area that we were in, uh, Central Delta, doing the same thing. And he had a really great day and fished that same nine o'clock to two o'clock, had a really great day. So, you know, we just took the wrong turn. We're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Someone else was out there on the same day and did really well. 
and it's day to day. So go out, have a good time, and enjoy the river. I will say one last thing. I did get one double digit this week. Unfortunately, it wasn't a fish. It was a 12 pound turkey. So Happy Thanksgiving to all you guys. Thank you so much for watching, um, watching the videos. Oh, let me tell you, next week, next Tuesday, I'm gonna upload the video with D. And D, in his own words, is going to tell you exactly how he came on the flipping technique and all the trials and tribulations that he's had to go, go through when he was coming up fishing tournaments. It's a long video, but if you're interested in the history of bass fishing, especially from a guy that's right here in our backyard on the Delta, you're going to want to watch that interview. It was an honor for me to do it. And uh, if D's watching, thanks so much for uh, taking me out fishing, D. Thanks for doing the interview. With that, we'll see you guys next week. Happy Thanksgiving. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Keep watching the channel. And we'll see you next week with a better report.